ever here together with our colleagues from Spain and from France. Um, so really good. We have four, four countries rep represented here. Um, and we have a promise that some other countries will be here next year because we discussed it already with them. Uh, you, maybe you don't have a, a clue or an idea, but this event is always prepared with almost one year in advance. So, um, Despina, um, I'll leave the micro to you. You already took some part of your time, so go for it. Yeah? Hi. Shall I start talking or shall I wait for you to empty? I don't need the whole floor. <laughs> okay, so hi, thank you for the invite. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I think I'm the only person from Greece here. Yeah? Okay. So I have this difficult Greek name. It's Despina Mitropoulou. And I, as Eduardo just said, I come from Greek Free Open Source Software Society or Open Technologies Alliance. And I'm going to, okay, I'm going to go back. I, we ha, I'm going to present, uh, not many of you were in the open room, so you don't know exactly what we do. I'm going to just say briefly what we do. But uh, I'm, I'm just going to focus on one use case and one project we did, uh, which is called the Collaborative Wikification of Public Service Procedures. And it's, it's not as uh, fancy as it sounds, so it's a bit, it's, it's simpler. And uh, it's not about the technology so much, it's about the mentality. So. Yeah, this is the project. It's like the, the URL for it. It's diadikasis. It's another Greek strange word for you, but it's, it's the translation of how you call services and procedures in Greek. So I'm going to say just a brief uh, introduction about who we are and what we do. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization. We were established as a legal entity in 2008. We have been advocating and we have been in operation since the late, late 90s, uh, advocating about open source. And most people know us with the name GFOS, because as I said, we started with open source primarily, and we still focus on open source, but now we have taken care of other things, so we changed the name to Open, open Technologies Alliance. So we were established by universities and research centers, and this is like how uh, the organization is structured. I'm not going to bore you a lot with that. So uh, now we produce and promote not only software, but open standards, open content, open data. And this is how the, you know, the whole community of open source has evolved and moved into other things. And this is how we found it appropriate to change the name to Open Technologies Alliance in 2015. And we focus in three basic areas, education, public administration, and business. And the, the use case I'm going to say is, is mostly focused on public administration, as you have already uh, you know, uh, understood. So what is the problem we have with public procedures in Greece? I don't know if you can relate. Maybe you don't have the same thing in Portugal, but uh, probably you do have it in other countries. Uh, the public procedures that we have in Greece, they are not fully described or documented. They are not very well maintained uh, with all the relevant information. So there is room for very broad interpretations. Uh, so basically, your faith goes with whoever is the public servant that will serve you that day. I don't know if that is that the case in Portugal or in any other countries. That's, yes. That's the case, and that's precisely what we <laughs> the yes. The and you know, we, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we do have rules as well. They, they're even written. Yes. Well, I, I'll go to that and what, what, why this is a problem for us in Greece. And, you know, sometimes we tend to blame the public servants, but it's not always their fault. Because sometimes they have problems like understanding what they have to do and how to implement the procedure. But this, I mean, it's, so it's a problem for public servants and it's also a problem for citizens or for business because it always causes delays and uh, it's uncertainty and then you have room for corruption and stuff like that. So what we said we were going to do, we said, okay, let's look for a solution and let's try to do something that will make an impact but it will not cost a lot of money or it would not have a lot of effort for us. So we went to, oh, sorry, that's not. So we created this, 
which we call the Collaborative Wikification of Public Service Procedures, and I'm going to uh, explain why we call it collaborative. So if you see this, this is very similar to what people know as Wikipedia. So, and Wikipedia is like something that I think everyone knows, so we said, okay, we're going to go for a very simple solution here. Uh, so this is how, what it looks like, what we have created. This is the main page. And, uh, okay, here you see it in English. Obviously the one we currently use is in Greek, but we have created like a, an English version so that, you know, other people understand what we're doing. Uh, this is the actual thing that we have in Greek. And how it works, we have examples like help and model entries. And this is how it looks like to have a whole procedure documented. I've broken it down so you can see. So this is, we have like the overview. I'm having, okay, this is the legislation that you have to have in order to see how you come up to this procedure. These are all the evidence that this is exact, sorry, for, it's in Greek, but you know, it's a public, a public project, so we have all the things that you need in order to get a service from public administration. Who, exactly the steps, who are the responsible authorities, how much time it will take for it to come to, to, to be finished, and who, if there are any other government or agencies involved into that. So, what we did, we did something very simple, we used MediaWiki, which is a very standardized and very widely available tool. Anyone can, you know, take and set up the wiki. We just customized a bit. But the, the most important thing for me into this project is that we did the training activities and the GSO materials. So what we did, we said as an organization, okay, we're going to provide the infrastructure, but we are not going to be the ones that we are going to actually register the procedures. What we did, we went to public bodies, and we, we took the public servants, because they are the actual people that provide the services and the procedures, so they know exactly what they're doing. And we said, okay, we're going to train you, and you will actually do the registry into the platform. So this is why we call it the collaborative wikification, because it didn't happen from us. It, didn't, it happened actually from the people that are supposed to uh, provide the services. And we, we crowdsourced, actually, this project. And uh, right now, we have very many, uh, uh, we have a lot of partners and users. We went, we all, I always say that, and I think a lot of people have learned from experience, we've learned that from experience, that uh, when you want to change something, it's very difficult to, as Alex said earlier in the morning, it's difficult to, to change the whole government in, at once. So you start, you know, at the bottom and you, you approach local governments and you approach local bodies that are more willing to, you know, change and adapt. So we, we partner with local and, cent and, you know, some bodies from the central government, with the academic community, with citizens, and we have now moved that into courts. And what we have managed to achieve is that we now have a community of 500 people which, who are public servants that are the people that actually rec re record and maintain the procedures. So what we did was we created the infrastructure, we said, here it is, we're going to keep it uh, maintained for you, and we are going to create the educational material for you to see how to actually use the platform. We are going to provide training for you if you need it, but then you actually have to do the work. And this, is, this, this has worked well, because now we have this community that actually does uh, maintain and record the procedures, and we have now documented over 2,000 procedures. Uh, just to let you know, in Greece, we, 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 we think, because nobody has actually done the documentation, but we think we have around 4,000 procedures. So we are halfway there in, into, into the project. And uh, so this is like, um, uh, in terms of what we, we want to do next and, or what we're doing right now, is we have, we, we want to incorporate BPMN capabilities and we try to use like the European standards of, of CP, OVIN and CPSV. We try to focus more on community building because I think this is, I mean, what you've seen so far, we haven't used like, 
very strange or complex technology. What we did, we said, OK, we're going to use something that's very easy for you to use. It's a mature open source uh, uh, tool that you can use. But we are focusing more on how we can you know, create this community that will make this work and keep it going. And our, our, uh, our original goal and where we want to go is like, after we record the procedures, then you can, because when you have them down and you have recorded them, you can find a way to simplify them. Because this is the ultimate goal, is to transform like, the, the government into a functional body for citizens and business and for the same, you know, for people working there as well. So it, by, by recording, then you go to simplifying and, you know, making, making it more efficient for everyone. So the conclusions for us for this project is that if you involve your users and you share the development with the community, you're definitely going to gain a good community and they will help you along with the process. Uh, you have to use something that people understand, so it's probably the make it simple point I want to make. If we went to public servants and we, we showcased something that was very difficult for them to understand, they wouldn't go along with that. And you have to actually train as you develop. So the whole co-creation thing that is really like a buzzword, especially in the, in the commission right now, we try to do that. And uh, I, I, I just want to, uh, this, is, this is it, so it's, uh, I'm finished, so I, I didn't need more time. But I just want to say, like following up on what you said, that, you know, I think open source and open technologies is all about the people. And, you, we, you know, we focus a lot on our communities. And, uh, you know, if we don't have the communities and we don't take care of the people, and uh, open technologies is the way to do that. They are, they are human-centric technologies. So we have to take care of the people in the communities in order to get something that works and solve our everyday problems. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I agree with you. It's a long, it's a long, a long term job here. <laughs> Presentation of the day, which is one that I'm also, as for most of the other ones, very curious about, is from one of those companies, one of those startups. But uh, where, where is where is Miguel Vera? I was quick. I can keep going and talking about. You can keep the spinner. <laughs> get up again. Sure, but is